Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California and this channel is mainly about farming, but sometimes it's not. Okay, I am 40 weeks pregnant. So I am nine months pregnant, I am past my due date. I am so ready for baby Coronado to make his appearance. If you guys missed it, we are having a boy and we have not picked out a name. We've got some, some names we like, but we're not picking one out until he comes, which fingers crossed will be today or tomorrow. Or seriously, just the soonest as possible would be great. <laughs> I haven't been around too much because of being pregnant, but we are going to check the bricks today in the vineyard and I wanted to show you guys how we do that. So you need three things, plastic bag, pruning shears, and a refractometer. Voila. So we're gonna go out to random parts of the vineyard. I'm gonna go probably to the north side, the middle, the south side, kind of walk into the middle of the row, and we're gonna cut some grapes and put them in the bag. So the bricks helps us determine the sugar content in the grapes. And it's really important because it helps determine when we're gonna harvest. I'd have to double check, but I think my contract is set for about 20, 21 bricks, but the winery can give the go ahead at any time. So I think like last year, we actually ended up harvesting around 18, 19 bricks. And as long as the winery is happy, you know, you can go anytime. Look how beautiful these look. So another process we're going through right now is called verasion. So the grapes, are getting softer so it's hard to tell but i mean see there they're pretty soft juice comes out um, they're getting a little bit more translucent another thing about verasion if i were to be growing red grapes to go into red wine this is the time when the berries would start changing color so all grapes start out as green and when you're going through verasion that's when the grapes start turning that red purpley color but because I grow for white wine and my grapes are green, they just get a little bit more translucent looking, but they stay green. All right, let's pick a couple good bundles here. A good one. So we're gonna try to fill up this bag with some bunches from around different areas of the vineyard, and then we'll go from there. I remember when I did this last year for the first time, I felt like I was wasting so many grapes, but it's really important. It's something that's gotta be done. Just like when we check the moisture in the corn, we take a few cobs and we do it. And the truth is that there's a lot of grapes out there. So just gotta take a few off to get the job done. We're just gonna go to the middle of the field and get two more bunches, I think, and then we'll be good to go. All right, we got our full bag of grapes now. Like I said, I know it feels like a waste, but it's actually really important. <laughs> so, we got them all in the bag, and we're gonna start crushing them, so that way we can get all the juices to mix together. All right, looks pretty good. Got lots of juices. So the next thing we're gonna do is take the refractometer and I've got a little dripper. We're gonna suck some juice out of this. And we're gonna put it on top of here, close it, and then I look through here and I can see what the bricks are. All right, we are at 12 bricks. I'm gonna have to get it with my phone because I know I'm not gonna be able to get it from the GoPro. So I'll have to try to give you guys a view from my phone. There you go, and that's what you see. So from the white up, you can see I'm at 12 bricks. 
I'm gonna check just one more time. Yep, definitely 12. So right now, we're estimating harvest around August 20th to the 23rd. Last year we harvested at August 30th or August 31st we started. So we are looking at a earlier harvest this year, which is exciting. And we'll see. I do not recommend being nine months pregnant in July for anyone watching this. So another cool thing that's been going on in the vineyard right now is we are testing out a Corteva product called Sequoia, which is supposed to help with vine mealybug. Vine mealybug is terrible. It creates this sap in the vineyard and it can really ruin the grapes and they spread really quickly. So I unfortunately have a little bit in my vineyard and we're just trying to keep it under control so it doesn't spread to the rest of the vineyard. So like I said, Corteva has this new product out called Sequoia and I had a Corteva rep come down and explain to me what it was right before we put it on. So I'm going to show you guys that clip right okay, now. Okay, so today I've got Jill from Corteva here with me and she's going to talk a little bit about Vine Mealy Bug, what it is, and then a new Corteva product I got to try out. So we're in the vineyard. We'll step over here. Great. So what is Vine Mealy Bug? Just briefly. So yeah, so what vine mealybug is, is a pest that um, infests grapes. Um, and really the main reason to control it is because it vectors certain diseases um, so like leaf roll virus that really can impact the vineyard and potentially, you know, you lose vines from that. So right. this pest is very small um, and it kind of actually overwinters in the ground and moves up the vine when the grapes start to come out and produ basically produces kind of a sooty mold, a honeydew, um, and then that causes really issues in the grapes themselves and, and makes them unmarketable as well as kind of vectoring these diseases. Right, so, right. So Corteva's got a new product. It sounds like they've been working on for a very long time. Yes, and we are very excited. So it's uh, the name of it, Sequoia. Um, it's in kind of a new class of chemistry called the Cefoxamine um, family. And so really what it does is it controls those pests on contact um, as well as provide you some residual. Um, so let's say if for some reason you get more of those pests in the vineyard, then you can additionally get some control from it. Oh, so, so it kind of hangs back a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So really it's, and, and mealybug, vine mealybug has been an increasing problem. Um, obviously you're familiar with yep, it. Yep. Um, and it, it moves very quickly. It can move, um, birds can pick it up and move it into a different vineyard. It can, you know, they're very small pests, so it can move in from maybe a neighbor's field, right. you know, something like that. Um, so that's really, you know, what we're trying to do is control that pest and cause any long-term effects. Right. Yeah. And it's like more vineyards are getting planted. So it's like, you want to be a good neighbor because if you have it, then the neighbor could get it. Yes. And I don't want my neighbors to get it. And I'm sure my neighbors don't want me to get it. So it's kind of, it's something we all have to control. Yeah, definitely. Because it can get out of, out of control really fast yes. too. Yes. It moves very quickly. Um, and so you can kind of have populations, you know, blow up quickly. And so really Sequoia is part of a program to control that pest um, and get more longevity out of the vineyard itself. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. I thank appreciate you. it. Okay. Thank you so much, Jill from Corteva. It was so nice having her down to talk about it. And we're going to go out right now. It's been a few weeks. I have a red tape showing where, well, we, we, sp we sprayed like a five acre block, but we have red tape where we knew there were some vine mealybug and we're going to see how it looks. So here's the red ribbon we put out. And I think there were a few vines here and you can see kind of the residue from the vine mealybug. And another really good indicator is ants. And I don't know if you guys can see them, but there are ants here because they're going in for the sap. So there's quite a bit. So these guys definitely look like they didn't make it through the spray. I mean, there's still the residue here but I'm not seeing any live bugs moving. So that's a good sign. And, and like they said, it sticks around. So hopefully if there are any new bugs that come through, it'll take care of them. 
So if you guys have a vineyard or know any vineyard managers, feel free to share this product with them. I'm really excited to see how it keeps affecting the vine mealy bug. I will have links in my description below if you guys want to learn any more about it. And you know, farmers have to be willing to try out these new products. So that way companies like Corteva know what they need to do to improve them, make them better. And I'm excited to see how this one works because like I said, vine mealy bug can be a real issue. Anyways, thanks for watching today's video. I know it was a short one, but I just wanted to show you guys that I'm out here, still pregnant, very pregnant waiting on baby boy and uh, remember to hit that subscribe button it's gonna be adventure ahead of us guys all right i'll catch you guys later